Hello, I'm Nizname and in this video I would like to show you how to create a simple snake game. First, let's add VecDeq from STD collections to our scope. Then, let's add some more constants. I will add tile size and map size. Let's also change the resolution, so it will match our map and tile size. And the last constant will be game speed. Now it's time for an enum called direction. We'll need to derive partial EQ, copy and clone for it. Now let's make a snake object. Our snake will be a struct, which will have a body, and also let's keep track of directions. Snake's body would be a vec of vector 2s, and of course directions will be our enum direction. Now let's add some methods for this struct. First let's get an associate function called new, so we can get our snake instance. Now let's add some tiles to the body. And at the end let's return this instance. Now it's time for update function. In this function we would like to of course update our snake. And we'll do it by updating the body tiles. First let's discard the tile at the end of the snake. And also let's start creating a new tile by cloning the start or head of the snake. Now let's set the next direction. Well I wrote this code some time ago. But I'm pretty sure what's happening is that we're checking the direction and next direction. So if they are opposite, then we're setting the next direction to be the same as direction. Because the snake can only do 90 degree turns. So for example, if snake goes left, then the snake can go directly to the right. And after that, let's also set the direction to the next direction. Let's also write another match for the direction. And here we're creating another tile to the snake, which would be the head in the next frame. Well, I think that was the most complicated function in this project. But don't worry, the last function of snake would be this draw function. Let's make the snake's head appear as a green, and the rest of the body will appear as white. First we'll set the color to green, and then let's iterate through each tile of the body. And here we're drawing a rectangle for each tile in the snake body. And let's also change the color if it's green to the white. So only the head of the snake will be green and the rest will be white. And now let's create the second and last object which would be the food. And don't worry, it would be less complicated. So food will only have a position. Now let's write the new function for the food. So the food position will be random. Let's also write the draw function for food. Food will also be a rectangle and it will be red. I'll also write a respawn function for the food. And this function will set position to random. Well, we almost finished. Let's just get frame convertible and let's create our instances of snake and food. Now let's do some input handling. Let's update our snake according to the game speed. Let's also write some collision so the snake can collide with themselves. And the last thing in update section Let's make it so the snake can eat the food. And we just need few more lines of code and we're finished. Let's draw our snake and food. And the last line would be to increment the frame count. And finally, we're done. Now it's time to try it out. Oh, I made a mistake. Here in line 178, it's a line of code where, where we get the food instance. There should be two columns. Okay. So let's try it out again. And there we go, we have a snake. And by the way, we can also move through the walls. We can eat the food and our snake is growing. And we can also collide. And so far, this will be the last episode. Probably someday I will upload more videos. But for now, I will take a break. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in next videos. Bye!